viongozi wa makanisa nchini Kenya wamemaliza kuhutubia wanahabari na wamemurai kiongozi wa upinzani nchini Kenya Raila Odinga kuweza kufanya mazungumzo na rais wa Kenya daktari William Samoei Ruto ili kuweza kumaliza maandamano yanayoendelea nchini pia wameweza kukemea kuchomwa kwa maeneo ya kuabudu yaliyofanyika hapo jana tuwasikilize viongozi hawa taarifa yetu fupi kutoka kwa viongozi wa vikundi ama miungano ya makanisa. Tuko na miungano tofauti tofauti ya makanisa wa ambapo viongozi wao ndio wamekusanyika siku ya leo hapa ili kutoa taarifa hii. Sisi kama viongozi wa miungano ya makanisa katika nchi yetu ya Kenya tumehisi ndani yetu uzito mkuu kwa sababu ya hali ya taifa letu jinsi ilivyo kwa sasa ambapo eh, demonstrations ama maandamano imekuwa ikiendelea na tumeona vitu fulani fulani vikitendeka ambayo inaashiria kwamba vikundi mbalimbali vimechukua nafasi hiyo kutekeleza uovu kwa mfano e, kuingilia mali za watu kuchoma kanisa kuchoma msikiti na hata kuharibu amani ya watu A, wakati ambapo kama taifa tulikuwa tunatarajia kuanza kuingia katika maisha mazuri baada ya covid e, kwa mfano tumekuwa na tukio la wahuni ama watu wabaya kuingilia mali ya Northlands Farm na East Africa Specter kati ya mali zingine za za watu hapa nchini. Ijapo e, katiba inakubalia e, maandamano kwa mwananchi yeyote. Tunahisi ya kwamba maandamano kwa sasa sio ndio suluhisho kwa shida zetu ambazo tunakumbana nazo katika nchi yetu tunaweza tukatumia mbinu zingine tofauti tofauti hata kutumia e, vipengele tofauti tofauti katika nchi kuleta suluhisho ya matatizo tulio nayo tunawaomba viongozi wote wa kisiasa katika nchi hii wajaribu kutumia mbinu zingine tofauti tofauti ili kuweza kusuluhisha shida zinazokumba wa Kenya kwa sasa Tunawauliza swali moja ambalo ni la umuhimu sana kwamba katika maandamano tutawezaje kusuluhisha matatizo yetu katika nchi katika mambo yote ambayo tumekuwa nayo ambazo shida zingine ni za kihistoria tungependa pia kuwaomba walinda usalama na vikosi vya polisi kuendelea ku e, restrain ama kujizuia. kujizuia wasitumie nguvu wasitumie nguvu kupita kiasi ili kuweza uh, ku eh, ama ku, kuzuia umati ama kutekeleza kazi zao wafanye kazi yao ya kulinda usalama wa mwananchi na mali yake tunauliza wa Kenya wote na haswa sana vijana kujizuia kufanya vurugu na fujo wakati wowote watafute mazungumzo ili kuweza kusaidia nchi isiweze kugawanyika zaidi tunawauliza wa Kenya wote waendelee katika maombi ili tuone Mungu akitusaidia katika nchi yetu tupate amani na usalama na maendeleo mazuri katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Asanteni sana Mungu abariki Kenya. We are going to have Bishop uh, Stanley Michuki aongee kwa ile lugha. It is our understanding as a church leadership that we already have a legitimate elected government and the elections were over last year. Our call 
though on our leadership. The leadership on both sides of the opposition and government are very senior citizens of this republic. The president of the Republic of Kenya is the father of the nation. What we are calling on them is to use the institutions and to use dialogue as a way of, uh, of easing the tension that is in the country right now. Uh, we're not calling for uh, a power sharing arrangement, but we are calling on all our politicians to cool down and do uh, Lisbon na waweze kuongea pamoja. Hivyo ndio viongozi wa kanisa wanaomba viongozi wetu au ni viongozi ambao tunawaheshimu wote kwamba wanaweza kukaa pamoja. Hakuna shida ambaye haiwezi kutatuliwa na viongozi wa kiketi pamoja. Your name and uh, the media house please. Responsibility of uh, church leaders because we are spiritual fathers of this nation. What we are not asking is to agree one way or another, but that each side should be able to reach to the other side. Uh, it would be absolutely absurd that uh, a nation cannot talk to one another. Um, no matter how much we can escalate this issue on both sides of the divide, uh, stones, guns will never resolve never. any issue, never in never. any country. Right. It is our strong belief, and we are urging the government, we are urging the opposition, that indeed find a way to sit down. The other side may be demanding things that the other side feels so impossible, but it is our duty as religious leaders. We are appealing peacefully, humbly, mm. that our leaders please sit down and reason together. Investigative agency, uh, if you listen very well to our statement, we are calling on restraint. We are also calling that uh, the police should take action where uh, loss of property or potential loss of property is seen. Uh, we are also calling on, uh, on them to protect lives and therefore uh, we cannot uh, ascertain the truth of the information that you've just raised. All we are saying is that uh, all of us as a leadership in the nation should act responsibly. We are calling for dialogue. We are calling for our leaders to sit down together and we're calling for all sides to be able to reduce, if not completely eliminate the, these vitriolic uh, uh, statements that are easily uh, arousing a tension uh, of social uh, divide and tribal divide. And uh, we were really calling for our leaders to sit down together. We cannot ascertain any statement and assign blame. It is not our duty to do that as church leaders. Ours is to provide an environment of dialogue and reconciliation. Let me add to what we all know. Our leaders in government and in the opposition have worked together before. Yeah. They are brothers, they are sisters. You will be so surprised that with all that we see, in one way or the other, they have a way of communication. They will sit and they take a cup of tea together. True. Is it so hard for our leaders from both sides, honestly speaking, in the same spirit, to be able to sit together and say the country is more important than a few individuals? Because it is saying, Ndume wakipigana, nyasi, umia. Why must we subject the populace in this country? our sons, our daughters, our parents to this kind of a situation. As shepherds, like the bishops are saying, are issuing a clarion call to all our leaders. Let sobriety, let calmness, and the voice of reason prevail at this point in time. We have come from a very hard situation, COVID. And there's so much our people have gone through, all of us. We cannot afford, honestly, to destroy our country. That's the clarion call to all of us as Kenyans. Thank you. And just to, just to establish, we don't support any violence of any kind. Right. Even the attacks 
on properties that we have mentioned. Precisely. We condemn them with the strongest terms possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can assure you, we are doing our best. We have elders among us who are doing what we cannot actually report or show in front of cameras. You see, when it comes to shuttle diplomacy and all other means in conflict resolutions, we explore different avenues. I can assure you, there is a lot that's going, there is a lot that's going on behind the curtains, reaching out. Don't forget, these are members of our congregations. They are members of our congregations. We are their shepherds, and we have a responsibility to mediate this situation we are doing that we are doing it. yeah thank you very much thank you so god much god bless you thank you nikiripotia iotv kutoka nairobi kenya jina langu ni ronald sang